Nebraska. Um, Where's Mr. Gavel, man? Yeah, no, I, Andy did a great job last week. Well, he well, did, and he looked good, too. To <laughs> Before we delve into changes, just um, Max and I have put together either the typos so that, that will get done. Uh, okay, that's uh, right. Well, you and Max did an unbelievable job with this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the committee, you know, this was a good yeah. committee. Um, and I guess what we should delve into is the reaction from the town, uh, the public meeting. I, they, I thought they were very constructive. Yeah. I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, me yeah. too. I thought it was yeah. a pretty good meeting. Yeah, yeah I did too. Yeah. Yeah. I wished, uh, the only thing I had wished was that there was a broader response of, of the topics that are in here instead of just a couple yeah. of yep. targeted kinds yeah. of topics, because yeah. the feedback would have been very helpful. Yeah. But there was, I mean, the, over the last three years, there were public hearings, sure. public, public yeah. meetings, yeah. Mm -hmm. so there was an opportunity yeah. to be yeah. able yeah. to get. You know, I wish those guys on the horses had then. come to one of our, our focus Yeah, groups. that was interesting, because I didn't think yeah. That was an interesting, that was yeah. an interesting thing, yeah. I thought. I yeah, thought it that hadn't was, occurred to me. That yeah. was, we, the, we that's spoke. sort of what we looked for, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. To, oh, like, yeah. what have we missed yeah. here, mm -hmm. what? Yeah. And we yeah. talked about a trail plan, multi-purpose yeah. trail, so, mm -hmm. you know, eventually, I'm, I'm sure somehow it would have mm -hmm. gone in. And we did invite farms. We specifically invited we did, farms, yep. but we didn't specifically look at horse farms. No, yeah. we didn't. No, no. But yeah. I think that John Lawrence was at a couple meetings. Maybe yeah, they just, yeah, he but he didn't a, say a thing about yeah, horse riding. Yeah, he was at the last two meetings, I think. But I think he focused in on the economic parts yeah. of the yeah, things, he was, and yeah. he wasn't really thinking about the recreation Didn't parts. have his horse hat on? No, he didn't. No. Yeah. <laughs> Until he said that. But that was a good, uh, that was a oh, good point. Oh, his western hat? Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they made a, a good yeah. point. I, I thought. Yeah, I did, too. It brings yeah. people in town. Yeah. yeah. And it's an economic driver. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. We do count horse farms when we look at a health of a community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought we that was an interesting farm. comment that you made. I didn't we know do. that. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Oh, we actually do. That's one of the things we, and bed and breakfast, we always count. Yeah, we lost all that bed and breakfast. Bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We used to have a lot we of We could them. get a few mm -hmm. more of those. Yeah. Nice. yeah well. It's one for sale. Now it's all Airbnb. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Scary. I don't know how to do that. Mm. Way after. Uh, Be wary. I could learn, yeah. Um, what about um, Dutch Nick? I, I threw something out there, and mm -hmm. I know people were commentating about mm -hmm. it. Um, where about George? You had some. Well, we, both. Just, just in terms of the overall response we got, it, it is it is still true that people come in if they're afraid of something, not because they're in support of yeah. something. Um, the the idea that there could be changes at the Marine Park that. <coughs> sent shockwaves around the community is is the concern it's a fair concern um, it, it overlooks the fact that we have a planning board that doesn't let anything bad happen really um, there was some emails going around you made an interesting suggestion I thought where the the, the main issue I think uh, if, if you accept that we have 250 feet to do something with and it's pretty wide open what we can do if it's marine related, I think. Water, yeah, functionally water dependent. So it so has to have. Water mm -hmm. dependent. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. like, yeah. So mm -hmm. if it so were. It can't, can't be a sawmill. Like right. It has to yeah, be. It has to be. Something mm -hmm. using water. Aquaculture. Mm -hmm. right. But, but that, the, the thing that brought it up was the oyster, so we may yeah. as well say the word oyster. Um, that would qualify, yeah. ex except yeah. if you tried to squeeze it in the first 250 feet, which is. Maybe not even squeezing. It would depend on the I mean, 250 feet. Is quite a bit of land. I don't know where the line is if you went down. Yeah, they measure it from the high water mark. From well, the water. It, it would be so from the edge of the area. cliff there, yeah. basically by the parking yeah. lot. Um, practically speaking, you could make a, a less impactful, more attractive use of that 250 feet if it was a little more than 250 feet. Um, and mm. and I think the idea of uh, that being a kind of compromise where we, the the opportunity wasn't jammed into 250 feet, you could maybe make it a better opportunity. That, that, well, I mean, I'm, 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 I like what you said. I want to keep it wild forever. I want to keep it recreational and, and access the water forever. And, that, that, and that, that comes from 20 years of living on, or 10 years of living on Dutch Neck, where I just, you know, you, you called it a, 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 a jewel or something. No, no, an uncut diamond or something. Time in the rough, but uh, and I want to. I would like to keep it that way, particularly since I mean there was talk in your your new verbiage of 
uh, uh, picnic areas, this and that, and the picnic tables are ready. They've been ready for a year. We're going to put them in any, any minute now. We're going to put a trail in. And uh, in the future, there might be something you could do there. I just don't want to think about it now. And again, I, I come from the position of let's keep it, let's keep it pristine forever. But, but 20 acres is an area up near the, uh, the road that you could actually develop something. If you're thinking about putting something in the 200 feet, 250 feet on the water, you, you, you couldn't have access to it because it's all parking lot. Well, the parking lot could become something. Yeah, the parking lot could become. Yeah, I mean, something where if you look at it, yeah. you get a big picture. If, if, if you, you might want to. If you want to do nothing, then you do nothing. Yeah, if actually, you, uh, didn't we hear Abdon <laughs> say, the, the, clam, the clamors say, no, you, can do, you can't do anything in the water and we're going to stop it? Or do our best to he stop it? He didn't say, no, not exactly. in response to the. Um, he didn't say no. a blanket conflict said, with no. oysters or something. Right. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, yeah. Yeah. there wouldn't be any dumping or any kind of um, yeah. deterioration right. of, of the water quality. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I, but he supported. He supported activity down there, uh, mm -hmm. business yeah. activity. Yeah. Done correctly. And I talked to him today and asked if, um, if if he represented, if he thought he represented the majority of the clamors, and he said absolutely. Um, so long as nothing was done that would affect their livelihood, which, duh, yeah. who yeah. would do something like no, that? No, you know, and, do that. and yeah. he did say that Waldebro does have safeguards. Right. Yeah. And there, are, safeguards. there are lots of hoops one has to go through, right. and that's the planning board Federal, and the select state, board and, and, the, right. and the right. shellfish. You know, right in town, we, right. we do, they will protect. Mm -hmm. The clamors will protect uh, I, I think the that, river at all costs, I'm sure. I think we need to as we should. frame the question um, carefully, and I think mm -hmm. I, I would say that the question is, do we want to have, in with respect to the language in the comprehensive plan, do we want to have anything, do we want to write it in a way that it disallows any kind of uh, development down there, knowing that whatever development that might be would have to go through all these hoops, right. or or do we want to allow it? You just I heard think me we say that only, I'm sorry, you, uh, you need to speak to my dear. Uh, when it comes right down to it, this is a plan. This is a recommendation. Mm -hmm. Right. It's this not. Is not it's not a, this is not. We will then be doing this no, on Monday, September the fourth. No. This is a plan, and I think, I think some of the people in Dutch are missing the point that this is a recommendation. Yeah. And I think our recommendation can be that I liked your idea of bringing parties together to plan yeah. for future use of right. that space. Mm -hmm. Right. I think that was yeah. well s said. Yeah. And I think that is the kind of thing that would be received well. And when you're bringing people together, they don't have to all live on Dutch Neck. No. Right. If this is the whole and community really that's going to bring people shouldn't. together, that is going to talk about future use of that area. Of the mm -hmm. town-owned town area. Right, the town-owned area. So yeah. you would want to bring a larger group together than just. Right. Defining I think the fact is their that point is that they're most concerned and they're most vocal because it is their backyard. Yeah. If you had a park down the street, if you have a river behind your yard, I if did. somebody had a specific thing they were going to do, <laughs> and you I would, did have a change. You would in. want to agree. Yeah. You would want to have a voice. Uh -huh. yeah. And I think these people are, are saying it strongly in this. And of course, there is one mm -hmm. leader, one henchman behind the crew. But um, <laughs> it comes down to a point where they Would need that be to a hench speak. Person? Yes. <laughs> They need to speak up, and, and they also have to understand that this is a recommendation. This is not set in stone, and I think we have to come together. I really like the idea of forming some future committee that will decide. So we're not putting in the plan. We recommend looking at changing the zoning to be all one kind. We put in the plan that we recommend a group to get together and talk about future uses of this, and I think you, you worded yeah, it well. It's well. not either or. Mm -hmm. no. and, and, you know, it, mm -hmm. we already yeah. have... You know, the clamors kind of coexist. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the fishery's changing. I know. It, so, it does, and, yeah. and we, and the other big issue is, and this is Dutch Neck is just part of this, is um, access to the water mm -hmm. throughout the town. Yeah. So if this can be a springboard to say, let's look at other areas Others. where we can get access, you know, because we're going to need public. it mm -hmm. uh, if we want to expand, mm -hmm. you know, aquaculture and, uh, you know. That's George, that's what do you think? I mean, well, well, no, I, the, the way the, the plan is written now. It proposed um, making the whole 20 acres the, the whatever that commercial, the marine, mm -hmm. yeah. commercial, commercial which yeah. it would be a kind of a s commercial itself would have m less constraints than the marine uses one. I think. No, I think well, the, in the shoreland zoning, it 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 only allows functionally dependent 
right. um, activities, structures. Right. Well, no. What what I'm what I'm saying is the that orange. Yeah. 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 Is that, <laughs> that that's, the only that's the only color change. coded? Go ahead. The 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 rest of the parcel mm -hmm. right now is residential. Residential. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. If that were and I think in the proposal it made it was it commercial? Well, commercial no. maritime. Commercial. So is that the same as the first 250 feet? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, if that was uh, if that was presented as instead of taking over the whole 20 acres, just moving the line in one section there, so it isn't a funny little 250 foot line, but just big enough so you actually could do improvements there. And they might be a better parking lot. They might be an outhouse. They might be a snow cone machine. I don't know, but yeah. I mean it could be it could be anything, but. The 250 foot line is pretty restrictive if you want to attractively develop it so that it doesn't show from the river. Yeah, I, I guess the that that was a, that's a good idea. But you know, what do you push it to, and your reason for it? And that's why I said the plan, mm -hmm. just to, so that mm -hmm. if you are eventually, if that is the solution, I must not have seen but you would need some sort of logic to say, I, I'm going to push it out in this area so I can balance. Mm -hmm. You know, access for the clamors, some new so activity, is, and so is the, mm -hmm. that's is, where a new committee would come in quite handy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so is so is that is that the question on the table? Do we try and uh, make up a number that we think would cover our needs, or do we kick it? Excuse me. To a do we suggest that we do it in a community committee at some point in the future? I think. Well, that was basically yeah. 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 The, the, that's. I, I think like the, that. Well, I think well, the committee uh, now on. The yeah, I think the, I, the committee might just be better to solve all these different yeah. thoughts we're all having of either just making the whole parcel right. or somewhere part or not at all. And we get this other committee, implement whether it's the implementation or special one just for Dutch Neck, and have Dutch Neck residents say how comfortable they are with expanding that line if they want to. Mm -hmm. So that's well, it's, it's remember. And have other, other users and, and of and that other, And other members of the community. Up. Yeah. yeah. The, I, <laughs> Here's what I mean. Like, we could decide tonight, let's extend it to 500. Yeah, I'm not let's suggesting. Double. I'm not mm -hmm. suggesting. We, we could do that. And that's but, still and, just a recommendation. And that's still just a recommendation. But Dutch Neck residents might still say, that's too much with what we're comfortable with. And mm -hmm. we might be fine with that. But if we were to just have some Dutch Neck residents and uh, clamors and other people interested in the area. Other boaters. Other people representing the. the uh, a cross section of the town, right? Yeah. You would do that. A yeah. cross yeah. section of the town to speak about that yes. one mm -hmm. yes. part and say this is the number we're comfortable with. And then mm -hmm. that would probably get, that would hopefully mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. an easier yep. support. Ed's point of view too is a strong one in the town. Mm -hmm. that, you know about the uh, the, the recreational the, value yeah. and whatever. I mean that that has always been. Yeah. Part, you know, you know, of, of that, and it's always been unrealized. Soon, we're trying yeah. to realize it now. So yeah. let me ask you a question. I'm not sure the support for that. I, there may oh, not I be. I there may not be, no and, and we'll so find that we, out. So do we no have? More George, a, I think you're right. Do, yeah. do we yeah. have a zone that is recreation? No, we have no. Or parking park. But you know, here's with a natural town parcel, yeah. we could create I mean, because it's a town parcel. Mm -hmm. We could, you know, have a zone and then attach. You know, criteria. I don't want to say restrictions, but are you, kind of criteria. Are you using, are you using you know, the E word? Yeah. Oh my Easement. God. I won't use the E word on that place. Oh, but that's a dirty word in Walterboro. Not necessarily. But, but you could, you know, to you, some you of could us. customize it. Uh, <laughs> well, the, well, the, that's the. Would, well, the thing is, you know, the, the principle of having public access to a beautiful spot like that is pretty important because you go to Cushing. And good luck finding yeah. Yeah. ready yeah. access to the yes. water. It's yeah. just not Private there. Private property. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's, yeah. A, it's all keep out, go away. So, yeah. you know, having something like that that's, you know, segregated and promoted, I think, is, is really important. Yeah, I, I would prefer to leave this, this section alone. I mean, it's sort of in the, in the category of don't poke the bear because we want to get this thing passed and then work on what we can do with Dutch Neck. We have no idea if anybody's going to use the picnic tables, mm -hmm. you know, for it's, all I know. And yeah, right now on the, the uh, on the Conservation Commission, there's there's one Dutch Neck resident, an ex duck resident, and a, uh, and a, and a Groats Neck resident. So I mean, we're, we're, we're close to the action down there, and yeah, uh, this, we'd like to get the town involved. There's 5,000 people in the town. Yeah. 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 How uh, many that, on Dutch that Neck? That place should be hopping. Well, well, you know, if I didn't realize, I mean, that are active. so is it is it cooler down there than it is on Route One in the summer? 
You much mean cooler temperature? Yeah, you know, I, I think so. Because <laughs> when I when I go, it, much it's just people. because <laughs> <laughs> when I go <laughs> when I drive from Waldeboro from Waldeboro yeah. well, Center down, anywhere to, down, down the water to Friendship. It's 10 degrees cooler oh, yeah. in oh, yeah. Friendship. It's much yeah, cooler. It's down the peninsula. Cooler. You're out in the so water. Are your, and you get a breeze. Is, yeah. So your house is a b cooler than my house. Yeah. E even the fact because I'm low and I'm close to the water. So so I get the breezes. Now that I know that they have picnic tables now coming down there. there, I would, instead of going all the way to Friendship to cool off, I would go down to the boat yeah, lines. Hopefully people Plus, you can go that, swimming at the Osborne Finch Preserve. You can? Well, well, sure. I mean, if, if we're, if we're going to talk. Uh, well, the right tide. If we're talking the town investing in some improvements, whether it's picnic tables or <laughs> an outhouse that isn't tipped over or whatever it would be. Outhouse would be good. Oh, outhouse you're going to have good. picnic tables. But, but <laughs> many, many down. communities <laughs> would have a ramp and a float, and you yeah. could yeah. pull your yes. sailboat up to it. Right, right. Or exactly. Your kayak. Kayak. exactly yeah. And then you wouldn't be in the way yeah. of the clamors who are right. trying to bring yeah. their trailers we had, down. We had, I had one talk with Adam about six months ago about when we were talking about what, what are you going to do if we have too many cars parking down there? Will that, 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 that make the clamors crazy? And, and at the time, he said, we, we'll work it out. But th there might be a time when we have to well, essentially yeah. talk about, particularly if, uh, if, the, if the if the Fine Street landing ramp is closed or something. I have and no idea be. if that's going to happen. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, well, the, the, plan, the plan is, right. and I was going to say, there's going to be a lot more activity on Dutch Neck yeah. this yeah. summer. And whether the residents like it or not, they're not going to have a choice mm. because no. the Pine Street Landing is going to be closed for mm -hmm. repairs, and the clamors will have to use mm -hmm. that. And I, I hope the parking is it, oh, it's sufficient if, no, if for all of those. They don't take just one parking space, though. They take yeah. I know they're trailers. Each one takes yeah. two. It, it, oh, it was built. The parking yeah. was built for trailers. Yeah. If, for you, lots if of you them. In, try and look forward yeah. ten years, right. yeah. that's what we should be doing. Yeah. Yes. Um, as you go in there now, there's a there's a thing you drive around, yeah. which mm -hmm. is half a dozen trees with spaces where people have parked their yeah, trailers. Their own parking yeah. 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 I mean, right. guy loves to park there. Yeah, yeah. And, and he always parks, and it's good. And nobody else takes that space. Yeah. <laughs> right, but yeah. but yeah. if you if you actually try and imagine that there's going to be more people trailering more boats and launching mm -hmm. them on the right. ramp. Yeah. We would have to, and we probably would take some of those trees down, and it would probably be flat, mm -hmm. and you'd probably be a bigger parking area. And, and you would still park in the same spot. Well, that's, <laughs> but, but the would. point is that one of the improvements would be parking. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. One of the improvements right. would be lighting. Yeah. Yeah. One of the improvements right. would be a ramp you could walk down, a float you could walk down to mm -hmm. at a, on a ramp yeah. Yeah. where you could bring a sailboat up or a motorboat. We're right. actually planning the grand opening for, you tell me, July 20, June 24th. But and June twenty third, June twenty third. We're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna, be, we're gonna open the picnic tables and the trails. Oh, cool. Where Why I was gonna have a hot dog truck, ice cream right. truck. Down, 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 down. Let George finish. Where I was going with that is that if we crack the door open and start investing in some improvements, it yeah. will be different. It'll be a yeah. change, mm -hmm. um, but it would it would create a, a setting where all kinds of things could be going yeah. on, yep. and there could be a, a building doing something commercial that could rent space from the town. I mean, it could be tucked up in the woods a little bit. I mean, it's it, it all fits together once you once you make the mm -hmm. decision yeah. that we're going to do something there, then you then you start mm -hmm. well, maybe on a very is, cautious basis you do things. Maybe this is the time to open up, I mean, really open up the discussion about that park and get it to be you know, used then, by then, people. Then, then, yeah. then, then, I, you know. then I would get it in line with the Form a committee to figure out how yeah. we want to develop that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I like the way you work. Yeah. 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 The Conservation yeah. Commission is doing something like that, but I would, yeah. I would, I would well, encourage they can getting a Dutch Neck committee. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I would, well, the whole town a uses committee it. that, it, that yeah. whole is town. a shared group. The whole group. town uses. I mean, the Calamers use it. I mean, I would like to see the whole town use it. I, I'm not yeah. sure anybody in town goes there to picnic. Until we can because it's, it yeah, and make it because it's a yeah. crappy one side. Yeah, yeah, yeah the road is awful. I just yeah. hope that they that's repave gonna be the road yeah, that's on before the they close down the Pine Street Landing. <laughs> yeah, that's on that's <laughs> yes, that's in the plans. <laughs> yeah. 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 John Daigle yeah. has that. Yeah. So yeah. They, yeah. It, it would be, yeah. it would be a committee. Yes. And ice cream. Well, we June twenty third. June twenty third. We haven't we haven't invited them all yet. So they're going to show. We don't want to close, in my opinion, anyway. We don't want to close the fact that something in time may yeah. go right. down there right. and I certainly wouldn't want to close that idea uh, or no, have anything in the plan that even suggests that. Yeah. So, but a committee well, we to but look a committee at all to these improvements. look at different yep. options right. and, and those are some really good ones. I know when I've driven down there Do you have, have to go really slow 
Do we yeah. have a list of assets that the town owns? Somewhere, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah there we, is yeah, in the we listed, mm -hmm. yeah. parks and recreation, and because uh, what we yeah. own, we own yeah. property as a we community. We don't really own that much. Well, we have we how many much. acres? We own a whole bunch of small property parcels, pieces, like a, a pocket like parks. Like oh, nine yeah, acres yeah. here, one acre there. Yeah, and we right. also, right there, and we right. own the the place yeah. above the quarry. Mm -hmm. How many acres is that? It's like three hundred twenty. Right, so. Those are, those, we yeah. had huge discussions, you guys must remember that, about what we would use that for before we decided to have it protected and so forth and keep it for traditional uses. We had tons of meetings about that. The Os Osborne Finch is privately owned. It's the Pemaquid Lake Association. Pemaquid yeah. Watershed Association Watershed. manages it, yeah. it and yeah. it's a preserve. And anybody can walk in and enjoy it. Yes. Anybody can walk in and enjoy yeah. it. You and it abuts rent the our house. property. No. That's right. Yeah. No, it abuts the Johnstons. Johnstons. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. between Actually, the Dutch Neck Marine Park point, and Osborne Finch. In, in, in a weak moment, Ralph said, I, "I wouldn't mind if you put a trail along my waterfront from one place to another." And that may have been in a weak moment in this in hardware store. Yeah. <laughs> but, and he uh, said it to us as if for my neighbors to use. Yeah. So he said it as if people I know kind of. Mm. If, if I know you, it's okay. Mm. It would be interesting if the town owned 250 feet. Well, I mean, that could be something with the access issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually. Long term is that mm -hmm. we need to be, I mean, if we took something for tax acquired that was on the water mm -hmm. that had, boy, that would be gold. You know, I mean, <laughs> and you never know, happened in Brunswick they've talked about long. putting their house on the market off and on different times. Maybe they would sell just a little. That's what I was just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sleeve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, and uh, that would save them more than taxes, years. too. I'm fine. Yeah, the fish preserve, you, you have to, you, you can't drive all the way down to, you got to walk about a quarter of a mile. Is that true? It's so it might be easier to kayak down. Is there parking Dutch neck. available? Oh, really? Yeah, well, there's sort of parking available. You park pretty, in a meadow, but it's a pretty, pretty solid, solid meadow. Great. And uh, they don't area. usually mow it, but but sometimes they do mow it. And there's two little places, and there's a, now a kiosk. At one time, there was no kiosk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now there's a kiosk. So you can park off to the side, and if you know each other behind each other, a great raspberry picket place. Ooh, Ooh really good. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no reason for the PWA to uh, hang on to that. They should give it to the MBLT, and then we can deal some deal with it. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's preserved. It's a preserve. It's preserved. Okay. So it matters little who owns it. <laughs> it's open to the public. You can go down there, and you can uh, rent it. You can rent the little yeah. cabin. We had I know reached, people that have. We had reached the point where I think the topic on the table is to not try and actually. Recommend. We recommend anything about the um, use of the park, but to to recommend that a committee be formed to figure out all the a smart. A representative committee of the town. Not. I disagree with that, but. Go ahead. No, that's why. I, yeah, that's why we're. Yeah. Talking. That's yeah. why I lean forward. I, I think that you're listening to the segment of town that is has been very vocal about not liking it. And I think that the, that park is for all the people, and all the people should have the opportunity to vote on it. Um, that's what I think. I mean, I understand that they're unhappy, but the fact of the matter is, is that uh, if you talk to people outside of that area, the aquaculture project was fabulous. If you talk to people outside that area, that park should be improved for everybody. So I, I just think that if it was important enough to put in there, I understand you had a large group, um, but that's a, that's, and I'll just say it, it's a NIMBY thing, and I think it should go to the full town for a full vote. If, if the comprehensive plan is voted down at, on the ballot, does that mean we yeah, resubmit we, it with mm -hmm. changes? But I mean, Right, and then you'd have public hearings on it. I mean, to me, it just seems to me like that was in there for a reason, and, and, and you were you know, we, I, you could talk to people who are downtown who who would like different things downtown. You know, I, I think it's a I think it's a town vote. It's not a it's not a neighborhood vote. I mean, if it's a neighborhood vote, then I think there'd be a gate put up <laughs> after they after tried that. Yeah, right. It was. They tried tried, yeah, they tried, they tried to succeed. Yeah. Right. I, I, so I mean, I'm Sometimes thinking I'm thinking had. that it really is. It's Sorry. it's a public park. It's a public <laughs> park. It's mm -hmm. not just about that neighborhood. But I think that it's it's not worthwhile for the comprehensive plan to make uh, an, a subcommittee. Well, the comprehensive plan to to make anything. to make a, a decision here that we're going to recommend changing the zoning. Boom. Let's look forward to changing the zoning. I think it's better to say, let's look forward 
to forming a committee that represents all of the town that decides exactly how future use of this park will be. But we sort of, that's, what this, that's what we sort of did. Right, you're not changing the zoning. You're recommending the change in the zoning. Right, right. and I right. think we yeah, shouldn't the, recommend the, the change. The recommendation was to take that, the shoreland zone and extend it to the entire, the entire town. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we need to do that now. I think we can recommend that we get a committee formed, so, representative of the whole town, so I that then makes that's decisions what the planning about future. So, well, no. Well, well, we have all these well, subcommittees yeah. that they are going to make things happen. Somebody the planning board's not. Yes. But, but, here's, but here's the thing. So I get confused because I, this is just me, but I don't see what the problem was except for fear of something in in making it all a maritime uh, zone. And like I had asked Bill, I said, do, is there something we have that we uh, um, perhaps use for property that we do want to have a part recreational purpose? Do we have a zone for that? I don't recall that we do. You know, there's... So let me get this straight. So the comp plan, I thought was just the plan. Yeah. But who actually, actually, ap, blah, blah, blah. Who, 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 <laughs> who actually, who actually changes the zoning based well, on the comp the plan? The process would be, because there's a lot of recommendations for land use, this being one of them, that would go to the, um, the land use committee. That would be the that planning would be formed. Board. Well, no, no it would be it's a not, separate oh, it's committee. Not. It's just a separate to give committee. Them, yeah. yeah, and they would be they would take everything that was in the plan and then pull it together right. into changes in the ordinance. So right. they would hash it out, uh, have public hearings. So you don't and, really need a second. That would be like a second committee looking at it. Well, we were just suggesting well, that for local input. I mean, right. Yeah, I realize it's a town function, but it's 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 it's, it's a neighborhood it, in town that I think it is should part of a larger people. issue of access to the water. Right. That we were discussing. And, you know, the town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like we have that gem there, and we've never really, as a town, you know, Ed, you know, Ed said, you know, really have come to terms with how we want to use it, because we've never really invested I, I think much we, into that. I think we will get similar resistance mm -hmm. to even paving the road. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I think that, and I think that's the problem. I mean, I sat down with a lot of these people, and I'll be honest with you, a lot of what they said is not what ended up in their letters or what they said in public. They don't even want recreation there, you know? Um, but think about, we're going to, we were just talking about the clamors and other boaters aren't going to be able to use our regular boat launch. They're going to be using that boat launch. And it's going to cause issues. Well, yeah. but that's you know, a public I made boat the launch. mistake of saying that Dutch Neck Road was going to be paved this year. Oh. You mean the road in? The road, well, no, the Dutch Neck Road. The road okay. itself. Oh, the, the road the itself road and the Marine Park. But the road itself, I mean, John's going to ditch that. There's going to be a lot of, it, it's going to cause, I mean, I said that and all hell has broken loose. What? Because you know they don't want they don't want that widened or paved because people already go too fast. So it's just that's one of those things. I mean, I, I just it's you know it's up to you as you recommend. I, I think that if you are going to put your plan in and it's going to be vetted by another committee, I think you're. I don't. I don't see recommending another committee to go over how we. Or maybe that should be given to the I conservation. Think the commission. other committees are implementing things. Right. Well, we're, we're, we're recommending, recommending things. things that recommend. Somebody's got to do the work. Right. Like the conservation command, uh, um, conservation committee is listed as the next group that will implement this section of this right. plan, and yeah. somebody else has a different section. Because we plan. have all of these. So what the committee we're talking about would be to implement changes for this specific, to identify the changes that we want or, more specifically, or research and investigate yeah. and. Mm -hmm. Do all the, the things we don't have time to do now. We, we didn't say specifically a committee. All we said was plan something before you propose yeah. Yeah, you, a specific I mean, thing. It's just surprised. taking a step back and saying, look at it. The yeah, we don't thing. want to make the final decision now. You've heard me say that uh, I, I want to keep <coughs> it like forever wild and I want to make it for recreation and clamming. But I would also say I wish we'd done that feasibility study just to see what the story was. I would have loved to see what the oh, feasibility yeah. study said. Because, I mean, I'm not sure you could do anything here, but I would love to, I mean, information no, is not right. bad. And not right. only that, yeah, think, that think carefully. Thing. You know that young woman who's been working, um, doing the testing and stuff for the yeah, river? Yeah. That was so interesting to just even have access to someone like that, you know, to do stuff. And then when Barbara said at the meeting about, um, What's it called? Darling, Darling Marine Center. Darling Marine, Marine Center. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and because, well, think about that. I mean, think about the future. You know, we aren't yeah. probably even going to be here. But 
it's, it's a very interesting thing yeah. about collaborating with some of our people who know, mm -hmm. you know, the, the river and the water. Not so only that, but we don't even have a place. We were going to do it next to the landing, but yeah. a, a place for like a museum or a, a, a touch and feel. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, I mean, I'm going to tell you yeah, right touch now. Touch and feel are fun. My, well, they <laughs> are. The booth at, over there at the uh, over there at be. the the um, the Pemmican Beach has no, a no, 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 the <laughs> aquarium. Yeah, the aquarium. I will tell you to this day, my my kids still. Every summer we have to go to the aquarium and all they do mm -hmm. is hold scallops and they spit yeah. at them yeah, and yeah, that yeah. is like the biggest thrill that they'd ever get. Now you take my son-in-law who's a lobsterman and he's looking at my kids and the girlfriends like, oh, this is insane. <laughs> I just spent $12 to do something I do every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but be a scallop spitter. <laughs> but, but, you know, I mean, something like that mm -hmm. down there, you know, I, I, I just think that that would be cool. I, you know, but it's, it's a rough thing. I mean, I know... So, so I, what I'm what I'm hearing is that the the question, what is the question? I think the question is, do we, how do we change if we change what we what is in black and white right now, with respect to the recommendations that are in it about the Dutch Neck area. Uh, right now, those basically say that we make the whole thing a certain zone, a commercial zone, I guess. We recommend. Well, yeah, we don't yeah, make yeah, it. We yeah. we, no, we toss we out that in the over the next ten years, this might Actually, be a good idea. Isn't this, let's say, clarify. One of the things was clarify the relationship between land use districts and Sherland zoning districts to make it clear. Well, one of the things, yeah, what we mm -hmm. we have something odd in the ordinance that says the um, Sherland zoning district is also the the, the overlaying district, <laughs> the regular district, also influences the Sherland zoning, and that's untenable. You it is untenable. You can't do it. So we have to clarify that and make sure that okay. the That's rules of shoreland zoning yeah. only apply to that yeah. 250 feet. And not Otherwise, the you're still taking more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, one of the things it, that it feels like kicking the can down the road to not just leave this, to some degree, um, positioning Since us. I don't know where this cough started, but I don't want to be okay. All right. exposing anybody. Um, Bye, Andy. Bye, Bye. Andy. Andy, I think I think that sweetgrass gin will kill it. <laughs> Any gin will kill it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I would go home and do that. Have a nice evening. You too. Bye. 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 I'm now trying to think what I was so sure I was right about. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you look at it this way, we, we made a recommendation, <laughs> but we didn't spend an inordinate amount of time, like logically saying. You know, this is why, why, or how, why yeah. how. all we're doing is saying that's still on the table. All we're going to do is take a step back and say, all right, let's pull this all together so that. Uh, and it's one dot, isn't it, on page 23, one dot we're actually yeah. talking about? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is all being talked about because of one bullet point. <laughs> one right, bullet and that, that really was one person. That wasn't, well, anyway, that wasn't as many people as. Decision. What was the bullet point? It's right it's, here. It's, it's, the, the, it's the extension of the shoreland from 250 yeah. to the entire town. Of the entire yeah. thing, yep. <laughs> There we go. Your arms are longer than mine. So we're not really, it's still on the table. Yeah. It's just we're going to, you know, maybe think about it a little bit more, plan it out. I, I just, I hesitate any time we form any another type of a committee. Yeah. Yeah. It well, just. It, it doesn't have to be a separate committee. Yeah. We could. It could be a well, conservation commission, the land use group could do it. Well, th there's already the implication if this were voted on just like it is in past, it doesn't do anything right. except no. It just means look at it. Yeah, it means, you know, you've now decided mm -hmm. we've turned over the ground, now we're going to plant something. Right. Or we and haven't even, we've just... still have to go through all the hoops. Right? Yeah, and all those hoops are very, very protective. Um, but after having spent almost three years doing this whole thing, if that one bullet item is going to stop it from being voted on by... Passed. By passed then um, I, I don't see anything wrong with the statement that Bill made that we do a little bit more research, that we look at it a little more closely and we get more people involved in making the decision. Well, uh, we don't even know. I, I mean, here it doesn't even say extended beyond what. It doesn't say, it, all it says is extended beyond. It doesn't. It says to make it one to zone encompass. instead yeah. of yeah. Yeah. instead of having two zones in the, on Just that one piece of property to make it so one zone. So why can't we leave it in there and put something like, um, 
This uh, will be de uh, spe more specific details will be determined. Well, the by statement a the statement future. would be examined to see. I mean, the, we could. How about just say should be extended? Yeah, we or could say consider that. extending. Yep. Consider mm -hmm. extending, yep. and let's not do anything until we find out what people really want. I mean, okay. Are there enough people on Dutch Neck that would make a difference in voting? Do you think? You, you'd be surprised how many people can vote there. You may think there's summer people, but they consider it their no, primary residence. No, but I mean, just in looking so at vote. yeah, but looking at the in, we have what three thousand and depends, some voters. It totally depends on who comes out. And, it, yes. yeah. and I think but part of this is but even if they all came out, would that be a possibility? Who knows? Well, luckily they'll all be out of town. All right. Well, <laughs> the vote goes down. Say that. I think absentee I, you just said something, and I, what was the last thing you just said? Oh, good night. I'm, I'm not sure what it was. But, uh, <laughs> um, just consider extending it. Yeah, yeah. Or, or just, without just any. Say we might extend it, or, or, or talk about it. But this is really poking consider. the ball, poking the bear, and and I'm not sure there's enough people on Dutch Neck to defeat it, but there are enough people in Sea Cow to talk to the McDonald's and everybody else yeah. on Dutch Neck. If you start getting those manatees involved, watch out. <laughs> Well, I just think that I'm not sure they're against it, and I think mm -hmm. the clamors are not against it. Uh, because they know they have the control. They know they have the control, but I mean, yeah. why, are we, why are we doing this when it's just a? Uh, I, uh, I mean, I, I would well, just I say know. extend it, but but I just think that I think we are ha we're putting we just put together the recreation committee. Yep. That would be a perfect really committee formed. for this to land in. It would actually because if you make it the recreation and parks committee, right? Then we can dissolve well, actually, the, then we can dissolve the conservation commission and like go home. Is that a TV show? <laughs> no, oh. parks and parks recreation. And rec, yes. But but I think that that type of thing that they could probably do that and yeah. say, how do you want to handle it? I, yeah. I don't think you need a whole new committee, but no. that might be no. the proper place yeah. to put it and say what should be here. Mm -hmm. but, but but that all we do with this uh, recommendation is just about any involvement. Yeah. But I many, asked them that about a year ago. Many, many of the items here. Is it two page 23? Is that what they're saying? Yeah, because uh, it's it is. And the Conservation Commission point, can right? work with the uh, Recreation numbers. Department. And yeah, many of these eyes, comments, no, many of these recommendations that are made here define what committee would then be there to implement. I, I, I think it's, it, it's an interesting thing is that I think that some, even in our mind, my mind, when this was being talked about for the aquaculture venture was closer to the water. That was the way to raise more money to do some of the recreation that was originally planned there. And even when we mentioned recreation, I mean, what could happen to that building potentially when, if it didn't happen? I was like, well, it would be an excellent community center. Mm. And when I said that in my mind, <gasps> Right. Well, we <laughs> right. You know, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, maybe not, but it would have a nice view. Um, you know, and and people would enjoy that, I would think. But I, I could be wrong. But I mean, along they're dealing with AD Gray. That's one of their first things they have to deal with, and 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 maybe we should put that on their plate too. So you'll have at least a committee. <clears throat> Yeah, well, this yeah. isn't creating. Yeah, this isn't creating a new committee. This is just right. making a master plan for it. Which, I like the idea of extending it, it, but then you don't really say what you're extending. Yeah, that's what it does. Yeah. Well, you, you, we're extending the commercial marine zone. Right. Actually, in, in one yeah. way, it's less restrictive. Excuse me, more restrictive than the residential zone. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because it, is it does more allow structures, but they have to be water dependent. Right. Residential would allow homes and right. a couple of other mm -hmm. things. So. But I, I think if you just Make it sort it, of stick with the language. Just say extending them. Yeah. Would take out the there was a, a number. Um, what did it say now? Well, it, it, said yes. the it, entire parcel. it said the, the yeah. entire parcel. Yeah. We removed the entire parcel and just Part. say recommend. Yeah. Extending it. Yeah. Yep. And then you've got committees that will go through all their yep. own hoops, to do, and that won't preclude anything at that point. Correct. No. I think that's a nice compromise. Uh -huh. How about if we suggest that we have low income housing? On the residential part. <laughs> about ten you years ago. You want Penny ago, Johnston on your back? <laughs> about ten years ago. I no, was, I mean then they'd want to change. I, I talked to Lee Smith and I said, "Why don't you take the ten acres that are nearest the road and sell them as a building lot mm -hmm. and give it to the conservation?" Who commission. did you say that to? Uh, Lee Smith. Oh yeah, many and years and ago. And he heard yeah. you turn white because I mean I said, "Just sell it as a building lot and we'll yeah. put the money in the conservation commission and we'll do some great yeah. stuff." Yeah, sell it as five building lots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, we so, revenue, so you want it more that's, restrictive that's doing because we want to be able to use it for the town. But the thing is, so the marine commercial is more is restrictive more, uh, that's than, what I'm yeah, saying. than if, residential. If we suggest something residential, Meeting? then I'm going to see Thursday. Is that okay? Uh, Thursday morning ish, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going down to the Darling Center Thursday oh, afternoon. Oh, interesting. <laughs> well, I need to be in Augusta tomorrow. I'm going to Massachusetts tomorrow. Okay. Uh, fire, tomorrow, to world fire training academies uh, tomorrow, uh, and then ooh. EMS on Thursday. Oh. I'm all over the place. Maybe <laughs> you could ask the Darling Center if they're interested in a satellite uh, facility on Dutch Deck. So I think that would be lovely. Small but the Darling Center is a is a big place. Yeah, we have, a, we have a one a acre parcel we can we can offer to them. I mean, I, I, I haven't looked on there since I heard Barbara's talk. Do you need me for anything else? But I, I'm, 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 I'm not sure. I think we're good. You know, I've walked around that property quite yep. a bit. And I'm not sure where you'd put any buildings that wouldn't be anyway. too big for the Do you problem. realize we spent we've, we've talked yeah. about this enough. Tons we've of spent time it we have. On well, so what, this, so all of this issue. wonderful we other stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> they weren't yeah. can I just make sure I got what yeah. we're saying? So pretty much what the language is gonna say is the existing commercial marine boundaries at Dutch Neck Marine Park are recommended to be extended beyond the two hundred and fifty setback from the water line. And That's take it. out take out that Tom Parcel part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then a committee or whomever can look at so, that so and what, decide. What would we say? Yeah. Just so leave it. we'll be taking we out this last bit after yeah. the water line. Should we should we include something after the water line part, like beyond 250, no. beyond the 250 foot setback from the water line based on? No. No? No, I think we should leave that up to Just a to committee it. to look at mm -hmm. and interpret. Well, that's what I was going to say, if based the, on a recommendation from a designated committee or just, no, just because it could be the land use it could be yeah. recreation yeah. it could be conservation commission so we might want all of them to get involved okay mm -hmm. well, and, and, and and the, we're based on recommendations. there's a there's a very appropriate yeah, logical reason to do it and that's that 250 feet if we're constrained to the first 250 feet it limits the attractiveness of oh, things that everybody might want to do yeah. yeah i'm just making sure i have the yeah. language right so oh, it's sorry. it's not that we're trying to put a mobile station down there it's that whatever we do we need more than 250 feet because of where the parking gas is. station Keep wouldn't be bad down there though no <laughs> i mean in other words <laughs> there's, there's nothing there should be nothing that would be unsettling yeah. or um I'll fix that to to anybody except people who don't want anything to change right 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 if you, you and i think and that things are going to change hopefully recreation wise you, it'll if, be really nice to use if that you take spot. the town as a whole some improvements down there would be supported by the vast majority of people. Right. I think if they listened to no one else and just went down and if there were improvements and, and didn't talk to anybody and just went down, they'd probably like it. You know, there's that mall. Well, and there, there isn't an it thing that yet either. I mean, we, we, that's yeah. what that's what will be worked on sometime is mm -hmm. should there be, a, I think there should be a boat ramp. Should, I mean, a, yeah. So I a plan float. to attend the opening uh, on June 23rd and I plan to enjoy picnic tables and have a hot dog and etc. Let's have a whole crew down there. I want to go down and get to know it so that I can escape Pretty. the heat at my house in the summer. There might it's be nice bugs place. there unless you're too, right on the water. You I don't know. Really if you can't be it. right on the water. If it's yeah. breezy, can, the bugs are And you can go down the Osborne Fish right. Preserve and be in the water. Well, they are. So we'll do that too. That, so are we good on the language? So we yeah, just took out. That's good. We'll so took out the, I will read it one more time. I'm going to change the shoreline district thing and yeah. say commercial marine. Yeah. The existing commercial commercial marine fishery boundary at the shoreline boundary at Dutch Neck Marine Park is recommended to be extended beyond the 250 foot setback from the water line. Yep. That's Doesn't it. Doesn't say how much. Doesn't or, say or even why. Short and sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let that be determined by the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. I like that statement. This whole thing is going and to be determined you know, by the future. As the sea future. level rises, we might need that extra. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we might lose our 200. We may yeah, lose right. our 250. Not in my life, but maybe in Max's. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and look out for him. Here now, so we can, <laughs> now we have this frame of Max. reference, right? Want me to do like the sad eyes when doing the vote? Like, please, for my generation, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> extend the commercial fishery to the entire town parcel. As, <laughs> as the water levels rise, we won't need to dredge the river. Yeah. Oh, no, that that's would be interesting. Good. Except it's five, bringing more silt in with it. <laughs> we can make five masted schooners again. There you go. No. Now you're in a battle with the silt. Yeah, you the are. The level ain't yeah. rising faster than the silt's coming in. <laughs> yeah, you try to drink the silt rise. Havoc with the clamors. Oh, oh no, yeah. some of them want it. Really? 
Well, I remember well, that. I remember Dredging. years oh, ago yeah, when they center. had a plan it's, for it's, that, a, and it's, because it's a temporary thing, didn't want it. Yeah, yeah but it's, so yeah. were this could a and it's season. Own, yeah. eh, not necessarily because it's no. the channel is very narrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, very shallow. <clears throat> and where, can, where they clam is not it's in it's the channel. Yeah. It's about five deep out. I, I found yards. 18 inches of low tide when I was sounding in town. It's going to be really low. Boat up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty. I mean, it's, it's, it's got worse. So. Yeah. Well, one other change was in the uh, horses. The yep. re action item for recreation. We just expanded uh, the trail plan. The trail plan shall identify trails for the following. And it just lists a whole potpourri. Yeah. And that doesn't mean that there'd be horses allowed in all trails. Right. right. No, it's, no, it's, it's right. Yeah. And, and it doesn't mean there'll be on the shore. shore. That's it right. What it means is, that's right. so for what all it, of Barbara's yeah. comments, it really yeah, that wasn't. That was my thought. The horse trails are usually inland. Yeah, yes. And that was John Lawrence's <laughs> point. Right. Yeah. 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 And, and just and to remember, point. it would be yeah. a list where they were. Yeah. Allowed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, that's all we're making is a list. Yeah. yeah. yeah not yeah. all trails would be suitable. Right. Just right. simply right. recommending making a list. Yeah. 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 Ragged Mountain was a bridal trail at one time. I mean, yeah. You know. So that's I mean, right. this, yeah. Good. So there's wow. all kinds of different that's things. Scary. Yeah. Yeah. I would. Look, I go up there on foot. And I'm nervous. I'm scared <laughs> on my own feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm there was one other I'm thing on that course, lady though. that um, again was on the planning board or something. Oh, yes. that, she had a whole section of things where she said we left out something about bike trails on the side of the road. Or she, did. she had that like, um, oh yeah, parking, <coughs> bike lanes, yeah. river walk. She said she was giving you her language. Did she turn it in? Well, that's why we put in the, the river walk mm -hmm. okay. here because yeah. we have a recommendation for a master trail plan that's right. going to yeah. cover all those things. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so. Okay, just one because mm -hmm. I remember her specifically. Almost like she was giving a list of assets of the town too, or future yeah. assets. When this in the transportation section, we, are, we already cover the bike and the shoulders <coughs> too. So okay. Will down. there be sidewalks down up? Uh, uh, Route one. I want to say Jefferson Street. But Han Hannaford. We're supposed to have by sidewalks Hannaford. Put in it's supposed by, to be. Yeah, there. We should have asked Julie while she was here. I know. She knows we didn't the, think of it. She knows the I think schedule they, because of those. They put it off because they weren't didn't fix Pine Street Landing. I think they were going to try to do the sidewalks of Probably Pine Street Landing time while they when they have all the here. asphalt and all the then hopefully this summer at the same time. Somebody, when, when does the work on Pine Street begin? I get asked that every day. This summer. This <laughs> summer that, that narrows it down. Well, it uh, does. <coughs> Good weather. Somebody <coughs> brought up um, German here. Oh, German, yeah. Oh, yeah, German, German heritage. German heritage. Yeah. And someone else want a list of natural assets. Well, we have in, that's in, in part that, two. There's uh, a list of yeah. Oh, some I don't know natural something. I just yeah. I know that was just yeah. these are just so notes. So the that German I took. thing, uh, if many people may not know, um, that we do August. still have the first weekend of August every single year. The the um, what's that group of that does genealogy? The German genealogy oh, in town. They come for the weekend. Yeah, and they do. Oh, they, they do, do the a German service church. in they in the do German. the German church, but they also have they well, spend the weekend. Percent looking yeah. into their German genealogy here. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, a name for that. Um, and the Historic Society started opening up the um, German church on weeks weeks during the summer, yeah. on afternoons in the summertime, and having someone to just a tour, tour yeah. give you a tour. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, okay. someone told me who was doing so that. So, so there's, more there's, Becky Maxwell there's stuff that happens. We used to do, yeah. That we used to be open on and, But time. it's also up to the people who yeah. want, you know, who are, it, that's their thing, that's their interest. Some of the things are not. We, we kind of brought broadly about expanding tourism and, yeah. you know, so we didn't always get mm -hmm. drilled down to gotcha. very specific things. Mm -hmm. yep. We figured that would be the other. Well, that's it depends on the businesses or whomever yeah, they're wants all great to. Ideas. Right, good ideas. German but heritage could be included in the tourism thing. Well, that would be something, you know, well, like when Julie talks about an aquarium, not yeah. but but a site, some right. place, and uh, you know, or maybe we could bring. Uh, Remember, we used to talk about morses down, and have them have a satellite mm -hmm. store in See, town. That's, we don't really have the lever to drag right. morses down. Right? Yeah, we don't, do we? No. And, we, and here's you you you, you so were, far, and it's tough for her. It's sometimes seven she'll miles. Get, she'll get a, a, a truckload of pickles in. And they have to make them. They have to jar yeah. them and pickle them. Yeah. Right. And she'll have two or three people. She can't leave the shop. No. You know, so here's the thing. Those. We had talked about so many, many years. We should have a food yeah. truck though. Or something like that. Oh, I know. Bring a German food truck. Well, where's yeah. Jeff Hurd when you need him? Yeah. He <laughs> has a food truck. Anyway, yeah. But the. Um, so we used to talk about this in committees all the time over the years. 
of um, you know, and we st we they do it now with uh, apps. They don't even use what we were going to use, where we'd have a, a a walk around town to the historical sites that you can use GPS for now. Mm -hmm. um, they did one in West Cassett. It, so I can't remember how much it cost, day. but <laughs> the app idea is very good because it's so mobile, mm -hmm. and it doesn't mean in the older times before we had apps, people would have to come in and get the recorder, yeah. a recorder and so forth mm -hmm. and take it and then bring it back. This way, you just have an app that they can download off the website that takes them mm -hmm. to the place. To well, the this, places. The simplistic thing right now, in Thomaston, yeah. they have the walking tour. They have the plaques. Yeah, so you yeah. walk yeah. from plaque yeah. to plaque. Right, right. I mean, That's you might want to start I mean, simple with, with something like well, a plaque. And Mark Fisco, Mark Fisco, what would you write if you were right. standing here? And actually, think about this, though. <laughs> Interestingly, that kind of plaque kind of thing with stuff on it or with names on it mm -hmm. might end up costing more than developing an app. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that the, yeah. people could just download and the GIS would take them to the spots and say, you're in the spot and here's what happened here, mm -hmm. you know, and That's maybe beyond they... my comprehension, all those app things. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a clue yeah, how to do that. Day. But, GPS um, doesn't work. but I, <laughs> I, I, was, I went on a tour in Wyoming once and I came home and I was going to write a little tour book for downtown Waldeboro, but of course, I don't know, maybe I had you more got children busy? or something. Got busy. I don't know what I did. But I wonder if that might be a task. Um, but, I mean, it was a pamphlet I had that I got from wherever, and I was following, uh, well, so Bill, whatever, you know, those guys. Uh, Butch Cassidy. Uh, I was following them yeah. through Wyoming. You're, you're, you you're aging yourself. <laughs> no, well, no he, the real Butch Cassidy, not Paul Newman. But <laughs> um, No, I thought you went out with him. No. Did you date him? No. Not, not, yet. not yet. Not yet. She was on so the handlebars of the bike. Well, so anyway, I just wondered, just the thought, that I wondered if the Historical Society, I know how Jean likes to write, oh. but I wondered if they might, if that might be a little task they could, this is a side probably, just a little paper them. pamphlet that I know, I picked it up at some open place. It could be like a drugstore, it could be anything, library. I picked one up. I had the best time mm -hmm. looking for these buildings and, the, and I read the little, little blur. It's like a Mark Bisco, Gene yeah, it Lawrence. Yeah, it was like that. It was like that. Thing. But I, I just liked it because then I we came home. We talked about having that on it. our website too, on the, on the town website. Yeah. We did having at a one historic point, tour. Having a little Google map with a little, with the, um, with the places. That could be done. That yeah. Could be done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And again, don't, don't <laughs> <laughs> Erica Moody, somebody young who can do these kind of things. <laughs> See, every time we, do. we just know that they happen. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even spell app. <laughs> Does that one or two? A P P. Isn't that what you eat before you? Yeah. I was about to make yeah. that same joke, actually. I thought it was what? application. What you eat before you eat? Yeah. 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 <laughs> America Moody made a comment a couple of years ago that she was interested in, and I can't even remember the name of it, it's like Street Museum? Is that something? Museum in the Street. The street. Yeah, Museum yeah. in the Street. They have it in Thomas. That's what Thomas right. That's right. All those and she was talking about, she was interested in that. And she's and she a does metal, metal worker, Ooh. so she could do some I, my, cool stuff. My brain went things. to all these metal things yeah. that had the button. Well, uh, you never know. There's another <laughs> recreation committee or subcommittee. Or I mean, there's a lot of beautiful homes in the downtown village. There are, and there's, have you there's guys, history to a lot of those Have you guys been too. on any Mark Bisco walking tours? No. I wish I, no, I wish oh, I could. he's coming this summer again. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember which one he's going to do or when, but it's I saw it uh, mm -hmm. listed. I think, anyway, it, it's mm -hmm. worthwhile. To yeah, one year Miles Hospital did a tour. They do oftentimes home and garden oh, tours. Yeah. Yeah. They did a tour of the the homes in Walderboro, and it was mm -hmm. quite interesting. The history of the Hall um, funeral yeah. home and the history of the there, you know this, uh, Captain yeah. Clark's house and I mean uh, yeah. some of that history is really quite a, the imagine, Spite House. Imagine if they could make a whether it was an animation or a mm. computer thing that showed the building of one of these things. And then how they got it down the river? How did they get it down the river? Oh, yeah. oh the ships? Yeah. yeah. Did, what did they pull them with? Sailboats? Good question. Well, they were sailboats. They were launching. I they broke the tide. <laughs> yeah. They, <laughs> no. they, they got them half built, and then they rolled them down. If you read Mark Bisco's Merchants of the Madonna, yeah, part of the reason they chose this place was the slope of the to, land. To launch. Yeah. It was not steep. It was not shallow. It was just the right slope, and they would launch them with no ballast. The ballast, my neighbor's house, was where they made all the ballast to put really? in the ships. Oh, yeah, the, the Thines. The yeah. Thines is where there was a brickyard. There was a brickyard right there. There was oh, a brickyard. Wow. Yeah. And they would put the bricks into an open hole. Didn't have the. It didn't even have the. And they didn't the, roll over when they got to the corner. 
No, because um, because of the design of the ship, I guess. And but it, they didn't even have they didn't have the mass in place or anything in place. A lot of it was an empty hull mm. that they just. Wow. Um, I think they had the mast, but none of the rigging. Yeah, the ma- it like shows it. masts up. Yeah, yeah, that guy shows. Man, it yeah. also shows the rat. These turnips as ballast through. too. The Waldboro yeah. turnip turnips was used as oh ballast my God, the rutabagas. when they would yeah. rutabagas. Yeah. Yeah. I love rutabagas. The heirloom the rutabagas. Rudy's biscuits Neil too. <laughs> it's an heirloom root of So, uh, just a quick question, just because. Did you guys see the post from the Historical Society of the Moody's talk, the Moody's brothers talking? Yeah, I saw that. I watched that. It, it's it on was, Facebook. That was good. No, I oh, it, go to it, the it, WBA oh, um, right. Facebook. Yeah. And uh, it, it was so compelling. I, I watched it and laughed through the whole thing, all the stories of how the Moody's cabin started and then how they got the diner going and why and everything had it, it was it was so progressive and then about the military going by all the time and it was great the anecdotes were funny the, the in there. anecdotes were wonderful yeah. that is something that i think is super compelling I, I i had a who would think i would watch it for 52 minutes straight i couldn't turn it off they had it was a program they had up at the historical society last year or the year before. Yeah, it was, yeah and last uh, year. it was well attended and it was it was well done. They had the Moody siblings yeah, there. Yeah, they had some Moody siblings. Oh. Everybody's in their seventies, it looked like, and it was the and they had the their father. The was, youngest one is in her seventies. Oh, okay. and that's yeah. Debbie. But oh God, that was you. These you are older. just would find. I, I think that somebody who's in, you know how people know about Moody Steiners everywhere in the world. Practically, yeah, it's known. Far yeah, it's long. crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, but that, by if I was them, I'd be playing that. I'd be putting that on my website, and I'd be playing that. Mm-hmm. That is such a wonderful. It okay. just was great, and I know we have more stories like that. I know we do. Well, just <laughs> what you just added, and I should probably. I'm going to talk to Gene. Lawrence. Read my yeah, Bisco, my Bisco book, on. but. Yeah, his like his, the ballast. I mean, he really likes yeah. it. Very interesting. The, the, the whole history of Cider Hill. Yes. 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 The Merchants of the Madonna. That's another and how interesting. And it was a parade on 4th of July, and a house started a to burn down, character. and they couldn't put the yeah. fire out because yeah. all of the um, parts of the fire trucks were wrapped with beautiful uh, f- flower paper and things, and they had to undo, by the time they undid all the equipment to, shoot, to put the fire out, the house was burned down. But then, then all 600 people continued on to Cider Hill Farm and had a feast that couldn't be beat. Wow. I, got a, okay. I got my copy of that. I just never. It's, 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 society. it's, it's a yeah. lot of dry reading, and then you get to some of these tales. Okay. Yeah. The real, okay. the stories that have meat to them. That's, yeah, that's fascinating. Is yeah. um, there anything else I'll, we need I'll, to do? Send the thing tomorrow. Okay. So, so, so what do we need to do to put this in front of oh, this? Yeah. I mean, so how I, does what we need to do is correct the typos, make the change. And I did a bunch. Print it. Yeah. Um, and then we're good to go. Once they will get copies to the select board, once they so say the typos it's going to go on the warrant, thought. then it'll get on to okay. the, uh, the Do we one have to do anything two. for that, or oh, are we okay? Part two is where okay. I did the typos. You don't have to make any presentations, or yeah, you don't have to put bows around, around it, or anything? Let me see if I can find it. Well, you know, actually, it might not be a bad idea. To be We'll be here at the meeting. I didn't. Um, just in case there's any questions. Which kind of a town meeting is it? Is select, it? Select, board. select board. Meeting. No, I mean when they actually vote on this thing. It's It'll a regular by, voting yeah. room. Yeah. You, eight, eight, to eight. June eight to eight. And what Show is there okay. national, what's going on at that vote? Is oh, with the out? budget. The budget is. But I mean, the primaries. The budget, primaries, this. This. And whatever town petition Warren, referendums yeah. are. Yours, right? The marijuana prohibition. One. Oh yeah, the marijuana so there, one. There may be some turnout. Yeah, yeah. there should there be some turn. Be. Well, just between the, the, the I would say between the primaries and the budget and the and the uh, marijuana, marijuana one, yeah, there'll be a turnout. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Good. But they'll yeah, all get there and forget good. why we're there. Yeah. Why am I this, here? Why it'll am be I here? similar to, uh, <laughs> it'll be like the town vote, the state vote in November when like usually it's supposed to be a low turnout. But that casino issue came up, and oh, yeah. everyone turned out. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and then we'll get the, the, this version the on to the website, which will be the yeah the one that they vote on. Yeah. All right. So I expect to see that well next week uh, after the, the select board okay. meetings on Tuesday. Yep. Yeah, the tenth. 
to the usual time and all. So that, yeah, we'll send out a notice Monday. Yep. Well, the birthday. You can't, have, you can't have it on the docket of the select board on Tuesday unless this. It's unless it's already on. It's already on. Is it already yeah. on there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. okay. It's been on Could there you? for weeks. So June, what is Waldemar Day? June 16th? 16th. 16th. 17th is the Historical Society's 50th anniversary oh. celebration. So you get, yes, it is. Um, and then June 23rd is the uh, Open the Dutch Neck. Uh, we made that people. statement. We better live up to it. Yep. And yeah, Max, I think you should invite this committee to the select board meeting on Tuesday just to remind them That's that what we're just, this, yeah. yeah. Is next Tuesday? Yeah. All right. Hey, everyone, you're invited to the next. Uh, come on, send an email. Put it out email. there to yeah. people like Barbara and yeah. people oh, yeah, that yeah. are here. Maybe Scott and Flash will show up or something. You know? yeah, to to Penny, the rest of the people that haven't shown up. Invite Penny Jones. Uh, all right. You guys. <laughs> so were there any other last minute things to ask to this? I think... No. I think that your suggestions brought up the issues that were raised. And, I think we'd and so talk each to just to state one more time sure. that this is an ever-evolving document, that yeah. this is not written in stone, that this is alive and it's going to be worked on and used mm -hmm. from now on, and so it is not binding. It, it's it a series of recommendations. It is toothless but heavy. Yeah, all right. I like, I like that I like one that. about the old people. Just, just one last thing, and that is after it's approved in oh, June, we'll need to schedule a meeting with the select board to map out, you know, we need this committee, we need this, you know. Oh, yeah, just to, to take this follow-up. Yep, yeah, the follow-ups, yeah. 